Kidiogo presents Genius Insight Sleep and Nutrition with Dr. Milan Lebre. Have you ever eaten food before bedtime and found your dreams filled with nightmarish images? Have you ever eaten something or skipped a meal only to find yourself to be more tired the following day? Perhaps you've heard the phrase, you are what you eat. While this is true, you'll be surprised to learn that you also asleep what you eat. Confused? Well, what you eat and when you eat has a significant impact on both the quality and duration of your sleep. In this episode of Genius Insight, we will be going over how sleep is affected by nutrition. We cover what foods you should eat to get a better sleep quality and the foods you should, well, cut back on. We will also explore how sleep affects what you choose to eat and uncover some surprising facts about how specific foods can affect your sleep. But before we get started, I want to thank you for watching this channel. Without your continued support, we wouldn't be able to grow as a channel and company. If you like what you've learned today, please remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Let us know if you've learned anything surprising today in the comments below. Now let's get started. According to sleep study specialists, many factors affect the length, quality, and duration of your sleep. However, one often overlooked element is the food and drinks we consume. You've probably heard someone exclaim, they can't have caffeine after 6 p.m., which is the closest many of us get to realizing the importance of what we consume. Science tells us that proper sleep is directly linked to obesity, diabetes, and heart health. So what can you do to help prevent these illnesses and encourage better sleeping behaviors? Well, you can start by eating more whole grains. One study reported that the subjects who ate less fiber, more saturated fat, and more sugar, even over the course of just one day, had a lighter, less restorative sleep with more disruptions throughout the night. Why is this? According to the National Health and Nutrition Examination Surveys, NHANES, in 2007 to 2008, participants who had the best sleep habits had the highest fiber intake, while those who slept five to six hours or more than nine hours had a lower fiber intake. So what is good fiber? According to the same research, eating up to 25 grams for women and 38 grams for men results in the best quality sleep. Now you know how much fiber to eat, but what about those sweets you might love to consume? According to the research done by NHANES, it was found that natural sugars are better for us and our sleep cycles than those refined sugars we love so much. What are natural sugars, you ask? They are the sugars that we find in foods such as fruit and vegetables. Refined or added sugars are usually found in foods such as baked goods, crackers, condiments, soda, etc. NHANES has done multiple studies on this and has consistently found that those who sleep five to six hours have a higher sugar intake. What should you do about your favorite sugary snacks? Perhaps a path of moderation and switch out your favorite packaged snack for an apple or something similar. Protein, a controversial topic between vegetarians and carnivores worldwide. And no matter what side you take on the subject, as it turns out, protein can benefit better sleep. What's that, you might ask? So I can eat a T-bone steak and get a good night's sleep? Not quite. Studies have shown that eating meats with high fat content, such as steaks, pork, and similar food, take a long time to digest. When sleeping, your body's ability to digest reduces by 50%, making it uncomfortable to get into a deeper sleep pattern. In fact, consuming a low amount of protein, less than 16%, has been shown to make it more difficult to fall asleep. So what's the magic? Well, it's pretty straightforward. Eating a balanced protein diet of greater than 19% without any saturated fats such as chicken, fish, nuts, and seeds have been shown to lead to better sleep quality. We've covered a lot about how what we eat changes our sleep patterns, but what about how sleep or bad quality sleep impacts our eating habits? Insufficient sleep has been associated with weight gain, obesity, and cardiovascular problems. Multiple studies have shown that you are more likely to consume more foods without increased energy expenditure if you get insufficient sleep. 
This links to choosing high calorie foods with less nutritional benefits. Science has discovered that certain chemicals in the brain, such as leptin and ghrelin hormones that control appetite and hunger are dramatically affected by even short periods of bad sleep. To top it off, sleep deprivation can lead to having trouble concentrating on what good food choices you can make. But wait, what about some of the surprising facts you promised? Don't worry, I didn't forget. Here we go. The first one shouldn't be too big of a surprise, but caffeine can be a significant sleep disruptor. You should avoid consuming any in the afternoon because it's a stimulant to keep you awake. Be careful. It's not only found in coffee and soda, but also in chocolate and ice cream. Sadly, this means no bad breakup binges after 5 p.m. with ice cream or chocolate. Sorry. Also, as a tip, be sure to read the ingredients listed on anything you want to snack on. Another not so surprising issue is alcohol. For those legally able to drink, you might experience a wide variety of sleep issues. Alcohol can cause you to wake up suddenly when the effects wear off and lead to restless sleep. Your best bet would be to consume in moderation. But this last one might surprise you. It's spicy food. Consuming spicy food can cause heartburn and make it difficult to lie in bed comfortably. It can also raise your temperature, forcing your body to use more energy to cool yourself down. It can irritate your airway or throat, leading to more snoring or difficulties breathing. This can lead to severe sleep disorders like obstructive sleep apnea or OSA, which causes numerous nighttime awakenings and impaired or difficult breathing. This isn't to say you can't eat your favorite spicy dish, but with everything you should consider the time you eat it in relation to your bedtime. Wow, we've covered a lot of ground. Now I'm sure some of you are wondering about ways to improve your sleep or supplements that may also help, such as magnesium, melatonin, valerian root, chamomile, and others. Due to my time today, we're not gonna be able to cover them in depth, but in an upcoming video, we will talk about some tricks and supplements to get you the quality sleep you deserve. Now let's do a quick review. Number one, while supplements are great for helping you reach and maintain better sleep quality, it's important to remember that you are what you eat. So to make long lasting improvements to your sleep patterns, you should focus on healthy eating habits. Number two, women should consume 25 grams of fiber while men should consume 38 to help sleep. And number three, make sure you consume more lean meats such as chicken, fish, nuts, and seeds over red meat to help with the quality of your sleep. And number four, sleep deprivation can lead to making poor eating choices. You must also stay away or moderate your consumption of caffeine, alcohol, and spicy foods to prevent other issues in sleep. So that's it for this episode of Genius Insight. Remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time.